Hi everyone and welcome to another video from your own personal online internal medicine residency bootcamp series. In this video series we will be dealing with how to answer the most common pages that you will encounter especially during your first year of medicine residency. So what do you do when someone pages you and they tell you doc the patient's blood sugar is low? So when you get a page the first thing to do was to introduce yourself someone pages you you call them back hey this is Axenia from yellow one team returning a page and they will tell you doc the patient's blood sugar is low now the first thing to do is it might look trivial but ask for the patient's name and room it happens all the time the first year residents panic they don't know what to do they just forget to ask even for the patient's name and room number sometimes even the nurses they page you with some information about a patient sometimes they page multiple doctors at the same time so when you call them back they forget which patient they were supposed to give you the information for so make sure that before you hang up the phone you get the vital information regarding the page all right so once you find out which patient nurse is talking about the next question to ask is how low is the sugar you need the specific value right now what you can do now is either say all right thank you i'll be right there and go to bedside and talk to the nurse directly and the patient himself or you can ask her some follow-up questions on the on the phone for example did the patient get any anti-diabetic medications recently or did the patient have dinner or the, is the patient vomiting is the patient symptomatic is he nauseous what's happening why is the sugar so low but most of the time whatever you do you have to run to your patient immediately after you hang up the phone you want to see for yourself how is the patient doing is he symptomatic and you want to double check the information that the nurse just gave you on the phone okay so when you go see your patient at bedside what are the symptoms of hypoglycemia that you're looking for symptoms like sweating tachycardia nervousness palpitations you can actually check for tachycardia with your pulse oximeter one of the medical accessories that you must possess during your medicine residency you can check out the other video for more information on the must have apps that you need to have other symptoms include uh, confusion seizures and even loss of consciousness you might not be able to wake your patient up which is of course is a bad sign of hypoglycemia most of the time patients with hypoglycemia will have diabetes but there are some cases where the patient does not have diabetes and is still hypoglycemic in that case before you treat the patient you need to draw some labs uh, like glucose c-peptide insulin and oral hypoglycemic agents labs if the patient is diabetic and he is symptomatic and the finger stick is below 70 you have to treat them how do you treat them if they're awake and they can eat and swallow then give them some orange juice and some food it always helps but if they cannot eat or they're nauseous or they're vomiting then you're gonna give them IV D50 and you're going to recheck the finger stick in 10 to 15 minutes after the initiation of your treatment so again let's repeat if a patient has hypoglycemia less than 55 on finger stick and they have no diabetes what you should do immediately is draw venous blood for uh, the following labs you need to check the glucose you need to check insulin you need to check cortisol you need to check c-peptide and oral hypoglycemic agents all right if the patient's finger stick is below 70 and they are symptomatic but they can eat and they can swallow then you're going to give them orange juice and some food all right or some sugar packet but if the same case scenario but if they cannot eat or they're nauseous they're vomiting you're gonna give them IV D50 which is dextrose right glucose you're gonna give them sugar IV and you're gonna recheck the sugar the finger stick again in 10 to 15 minutes after initiation of your treatment something very cool that you need to keep in mind is that sometimes when we check the finger stick glucose in the periphery here on the fingertips on the most peripheral part of your body might not be accurate can you think of a reason why yes if you're thinking peripheral arterial disease you're absolutely right in people with long-standing diabetes this can happen and due to poor cir circulation here at the most peripheral part of your body the value of the uh, finger stick might not be accurate so another place that you can check is the ear lobe and if the patient cannot receive receive IV or oral glucose you can give them one milligram of intramuscular or subcutaneous glucagon 
The glucagon won't last, so you need to quickly put an IV line so you can give your patient IV dextrose. All right, guys, so this is the end of our sugar video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys found it useful. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.